thousands of people are out of work because of COVID-19 and trying to apply for unemployment benefits, but they're finding the website overloaded and just not working. In the last three weeks, Floridians have filed more unemployment claims than the state typically sees in an entire year. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley is digging into the state's effort to fix the website and handle the surge of people. The COVID-19 pandemic has left healthcare workers, servers, and thousands of other American workers without income. In the last three weeks, Florida alone has received more than 400,000 applications for reemployment assistance. But the state website where people apply for unemployment benefits has been crashing for weeks. My experience with the website has been nothing short of absolute frustration and it was just this continuous loop of going from the sign on page to a warning about fraud we didn't know what to do i mean we um i started going on at off hours like three in the morning or i got up the other day uh, at 7 30 to try to call them and it just simply rings picks up hangs up like what's the deal with that Florida the state is now scrambling to fix the website for the growing number of people applying online. The governor says more than 250 people started work this morning and 500 additional workers will begin taking calls Tuesday. The governor says they've also added 72 servers to their online application system, allowing more than 120,000 people to apply on the website at once. A state audit completed March of last year pointed out similar issues with the state's unemployment website. The report cited 630 outstanding defect tickets related to technical system errors and other RA system defects. The report said the department did not have a process in place to identify and analyze data on the technical system errors or the total number of users affected. I mean, there's problems with how it was designed that's been pointed out, but that's not really the problem that we face. We just faced a, a capacity issue. Briscoe opted to send a paper application with the disclaimer that it could take longer for it to be processed. I feel like I've already wasted a week with the online process that didn't work. And now I'm going to waste an extended period of time to get this paper process. Uh, it's, 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 it's a maddening, maddening situation. For somebody that's sitting on this end that's looking to, you know, get benefits to get them through this tough time, this is a scary moment for a lot of people. Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station. Now, Career Source, Career Source Northeast Florida is offering paper versions of the unemployment applications, making them available at eight of its local career centers. The Duval County locations are at 215 North Market Street downtown, at Gateway Town Center, that's on Norwood Avenue, and at 1160 Beach Boulevard, Suite 111, that's on the south side of town. And in Clay County, applications are available at the office at 1845 Town Center Boulevard in Fleming Island. And in St. John's County, the office is at 525 State Road 16 in St. Augustine. And in Nassau County, you can get a hold of those, those applications at 96042 Lofton Square Court in Yulee. And in Baker County, the office is at 1184 South 6th Street in McClenney. Putnam County applications available at 400 Highway 19 North in Palatka. And starting Wednesday, pre-addressed envelopes will be available as well to ensure everyone's safety. The applications and the envelopes will be outside and no staff will be at the offices. All that information as well, if you missed it, is on newsforjax.com.